Now let's go to the drill down question by Robert. Hard question. You were not supposed to ask hard questions. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Um, I was away for two two sessions, so that's yeah. like kind of compensation. Yeah, I came back strong. It's, I'm trying to find, I have an example of, uh, I believe I did what you were describing. Yeah, now we have it. So this is the dashboard that I, we were creating just to share publicly, but I haven't done so yet. But one of the functions in this dashboard is that right now I have the date range. Is it daily now or is it? Yeah, it's daily, but it's sorted in the wrong yeah, way. It's daily, it's daily. Yeah, it's daily, but the sort is, it should be ascending. Yeah, now it's correct. So this one actually changes from day view to week view to monthly view and to yearly view, which I guess would be just one dot under. And what I want you to take a look at is that the page URL doesn't change because usually when you see something like this happens is that someone creates four pages and they would put charts with different date range granularity on each page and they will use the manual linking to link between those pages. But the page URL doesn't change here. So how is it possible? Some initial ideas would be enough. You did some hover's magic. Think about it. Um, Clicking on something and I'm changing the dimension of a chart. So again, an input resulting in a different output. An input selecting something resulting in a different output. Just using case again. Case statement. Yeah. <clears throat> so one piece of it we figured out. Case statement somewhere. Now, how am I? getting users value by a click do we have any control like that okay let's see how it's done parameters case function and controls in a kind of magical way but full disclaimer i didn't come up with this one myself i learned this from someone called mehdi from france who's really brilliant guy in Forcing Data Studio doing things that it is not designed for doing. This is his magic. Whenever Data Studio is not designed to do something, he can figure out some way. So first of all, let's take a look at the chart here. The dimension is date G, short for date range granularity. And it's the case statement as Claudia mentioned. I'm saying when the value of the parameter, date granularity, is one then I want to have the date. Why did it do like this? Then I have to, I want to output the value of the date in the day format. But it's text, it's not date. Because I had to use a line chart, which doesn't work with date field, but with any other dimension. And that's why I had to sort it, sort it from ascending, descending. Otherwise, if it was a time series, it automatically would sort from the earliest date to today or whatever is the latest date. If the number, if the value of the parameter is two, then I want to cast to date, this date to year, and then the letter W and week, which basically shows like this. If I click on this, it shows the actual value for the year, the letter W and the num the week number in the year from one to 52. And uh, let's see the rest of the formula. And if it's three, then I want to just show year and months. And if it's four, I want to just show the value year. So this is my case function. But now how to create the parameter and how to get this one, two, three, four by clicking on these icons. The first mystery solved, two more remain. Creating the parameter would be straightforward. We have to create a parameter of type number and then assign it to one, two, three, and four. So the date granularity, you do not have permission to view this data. So, okay, I have to go back to that report. And I... Range? To each one is a range restricted to one, two, three, or four. 
it's a number, but restricted to only four values, one, two, four, but it's the whole number. So it's not a decimal number. Okay. So it just takes a little bit of time for data to, to figure out what. Now I can find my parameter here and I can click on it and I should be able to edit it, which again, it is giving me something very strange. Again, fields, it is dates. The, okay, we have it finally. This is the promise. There's granularity, it's a whole number, and there is a range from one to four, and the default is one. Now, we learned, this is the parameter. Any questions about the parameter? I'm getting the value from one to four from the user, and based on that, I'm outputting different types of dates, right? Now, how can I create this click effect? When someone clicks on an icon, it is one, it is two, it is three, and it is four. Now, this one is really genius. This one is really genius, and I'm not really sure how he came up with that <laughs> this solution. It is, let me grab this. You know that when we have a parameter of type number with a range, we could use a slider control to get the value. So this is a slider control, but yes. the opacity of it is set to zero. Never would have guessed that one. Yeah, me neither. This is the genius part. So these are icons. These do nothing. But a completely <laughs> transparent slider is <laughs> overlaid and adjust it in a way that it seems that we are clicking on this. One, two, three, four, different date granularity and the chart changes. That's crazy. This is great, excellent. I'm smiling. This is really cool. <laughs> But that was a hard question. Don't do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me just go through the recap of what we talked about. Advanced controls, filtering across data sources, filtering blended data, parameter scopes, bridge parameter, parameters on a page versus report level, metric sliders, optional metrics, drill down, and link navigation.